Hi, right, and welcome back to Revolver Reacts. We are going to react today to Tom McDonald's God, God mode. mode. While you're here, please, please, please go to Revolver Broadcasting at it's it, it's dot com. It's not at anything. It's just at dot com. Yeah. While you're there, there's plenty of other things to check out. Other shows, many, many shows. Hope there's something there you can find that you like. And if you do, please drop a follow, a like, subscribe, hit the bell, all of the things that make so much noise so that you can see our new content. <sighs> this is going to be kind of crazy. I've had a little review of it before and kind of know what I'm getting into. Uh, I want to say this, Tom, before we start. I like your stuff, your new stuff, old stuff. Uh, as a fellow Christian, I'll just leave it at that. But this new stuff, it's got character. It's got a lot of passion. So uh, we're going to hit this, and I'm going to just be honest, Tom. So I'll we'll be ready for it. You probably never even watch it. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian. All right, stop it. <laughs> all right, Tom. Cool, loving it, hating it. Talking about the past. I'm just kidding. I'm not hating it. Talking about the past, getting over addiction and all, all those things. That's great. Talking about the money. Not talking about the money. Talking about the rappers that you're bigger than. Hey, listen. Your content's good. The stuff that you're talking about right now is great. I'm liking it so far. I'm interested in this scene. You've got this middle of the interstate kind of thing going. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's different. Artistic. What was with the eyes? Yeah, right there. What's What's that? What is that, uh, what's the symbolism behind, maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. The first thing that comes to mind is, you know, some sort of a, well, demonic thing. I'll just put it out there. Maybe I'm just too stuck in supernatural or whatever, but there's a yellow eyed demon that shows up. That's the first thing it reminds me of. So I'm curious, what's that supposed to represent? Reptilian from outer space. Tom, are you an alien? Are you one of them lizard people, Tom? Have you fooled us all, Tom? Tom, please, tell me it's not true. All right, let's get back into it. Man, I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past. But I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. Stop. I'm so independent. Did he say flipping middle fingers, but he can't flip them back? So somebody's flipping him off? Is that what he's saying there? Because of his reformed Christian? Let's hear that again, then maybe I misheard. Prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars, and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts. I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth. I am the goat. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I'm gonna preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world, and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was the only All right, one. Hold on. <laughs> there was a lot there. Wow. Somebody saying you're part of the Illuminati to explain your prosperity. Okay. Natural talent. I would say that you're pretty good at what you do. Absolutely. Illuminati, though. I don't see that. I mean, wait. The eyes, though. The lizard people in the Illuminati. I'm just saying. Two eyes. Oh, there's not three. Yeah, oh, see. Cool. Yeah, that makes more sense. Like this is true. Or the one eye. Yeah. Yep, there's that, too. There you go. It's all lies. Don't even believe it, Tom. You're not part of the Illuminati. Unless you are. I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Yeah, we'll see. I like the, the necklace. That's cool, too. Your hair, are you trying to copy me? I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You got cooler hair than I do. Said it. Desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim, I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was the only political rapper. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Trash. All right, stop there. Well, that's how it goes, right? If anyone gets some famous doing something or, or it gains traction, everyone else wants to copy it, right? It's like the same thing about making these review videos. <laughs> Gotcha. Back when I was the only political rapper, what the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic, I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre, they practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation, they ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. 
This is not YouTube, this is upper echelon. President of Sony, I'm a telephone. I get what I want, how I want, when I want, until the day that I'm dead and gone. The internet in love with beef, they want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me, I swore that I wouldn't do disses no more. The last time I battled, the man that I trampled lost his All career. Right, and then did he say he wouldn't do disses no more? So did, just, just, did you start this song though? Or are you talking about like specifically dissing certain people? Because you started the song <laughs> saying, saying some kind of dissy stuff. Just saying. No, no specific names were mentioned, but uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just, and I'm not going to talk about money and other rappers and I'm making more money, you know. I'm, I'm just, I'm throwing it out there. I like it so far. And look at this dude. He's got some serious little muscular tone there. I, I, I see you outside all the time, which is great, by the way. Oh, <sighs> dumb. It's not fair. It's not fair. Some of us are just handicapped. You, know you need to help us out. All right, let's get back into it. The dinner Sony on my telephone. I get what I want, how I want, when I want, until the day that I'm dead and gone. The internet in love with beef. They want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me. I swore that I wouldn't do disses no more. The last time I battled, the man that I trampled lost his career and then had a divorce. Oof. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse. Still no deal. Still no team. Still just little old me. Still making fun of the whole industry. Still rap on my own beats. I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. Former alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. All right. I was so that's just a testament to, to yourself, Tom, and to, and to God, right, for what he's brought you through. So make sure you're giving that glory to God there. But I'm very, very glad that you got through that, Tom. Hopefully a lot of people will see this and say they're going through the same things or whatever. I've, I've seen some of the comments people have, have relative, but that's great. That's a great uh, that's a great testimony there, Tom. All right. Take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. Former alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. I was sleeping on my best friend's couch. I was dreaming of a West End house. We was living in a basement suite. East side brain, we get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn. Bunch of crackheads in the alley. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles. They can have cops at the door. I couldn't sleep. Making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making. If I was in high school, I always had weed. Leaving the crib and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird. I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip and they spot. Ten in the morning, we sipping on forties and taking the hottest civic up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street because he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line at church to giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard boiled eggs and juice. That was the move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits. I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never going to be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb, always getting right. drunk. So hearing some of your old stuff and what you're saying there, I wouldn't want you to go back, Tom. That's just my honest opinion there. I wouldn't want you to go back. So like you just said, shut up. I'm on board with you. Definitely. There may be some people probably because you're saying that there are. I think this is better. Um, Christian standpoint, obviously I've got some stuff I would be like, eh, careful. You, gotta, you got your witness to, you know, trying to uphold there as a Christian. But I get the anger behind this. And there is a time and a place for it. So I'll put that out there as well. And none of us are perfect. I like it. I like where it's going so far. I Obviously, I've had some questions, but he's praying right here in this. And that's key. Prayer is always essential, Tom. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Flip them tables. Well, that was a Jesus thing in the, in the, in the, <laughs> in the church. But metaphorical tables. Take it. Up. They're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never going to be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the old Tom. That was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I wanted once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to do be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing. I'ma really go there, I don't give a f I'm the uh. best thing. So there was a lot there again. This is where that anger part I was talking about. And I get I get part of that. Obviously I'm not taking it like he is cuz he's the one that's <laughs> he's the one that's getting the trash the the, the traction and the the rebuttalism. Uh, 
I don't know what to say here, Tom. I mean, if I was an angry person like I used to be, I'd be completely on board with what you just said there. Obviously, you don't care whether I'm on board or not. But as of the person reviewing this video and for our channel, I don't I don't know. I, I would take, I don't know, Josh. I don't know what I'm trying to say here exactly. It's a little, it's a little, it comes a little bit harsh, but then I guess that's the world, right? Then nothing's fair. You said it as it is, and it is what it is, I guess. And that's, that's your viewpoint on it. And I like it, but I don't know if I should. <sighs> that's that's the issue. There's something in my spirit saying, it could probably have been said, said a different way, but sometimes it's got to be said a certain way. Sometimes... Sometimes it could be said a different way. I don't know. Yeah, there is fire with fire, and I, I feel his fire in this. That's absolutely true. I really do, and I, I, I'd be standing right there with you. I mean, I, we've all had our pasts, right, and we've all lived through certain things, and I can relate to some, some of what you're saying, not majority of the rest of it, but I lived in bad neighborhoods, lived in around drugs, and lived around, yeah, neighbors and stuff like that. Hey, even right now, huh, that's weird. That's really uh, right across. Anyway, not going to point. Not going to point at all. Somewhere, other side of the, somewhere over the other side of the basement. Yeah, no, I like it, Tom. I've just, I guess I'll just keep saying the same thing I've been saying. Just be careful of your witness there. If you don't care, maybe you should. Maybe we can have a talk. Maybe we can't. I do love you, dude. I love what you're doing. Just keep it up. Let's keep going. And see what we got. Saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I wanted once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have just to be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't stopping nothing. I'ma really go there. I don't give a. I'm the best thing going right now. They can't mess with me. I've been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave. I'll be great. Wait before today, and I'll be great till I decide to walk away. And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques. I showed everybody how to beat the record labels, and still I don't get no thanks. Everybody who been hating on me got these every little thing I'm doing. I mean, they dress like me, sign CDs, no one is buying their music. I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every single little view you get. Every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate what I do best. I'm on Fox News. I'm on Rolling Stone in the New York Times on the radio. Got a billion views, million right. on the ground. And that's what I'm talking about right there. You've got a lot of outreach, Tom. To make sure it's good outreach, right? I mean, you're reaching a lot of people. You're touching a lot of hearts. So just, just be careful. That's it. That's all I can say on that. Just be careful. I mean, young to old, for sure. You know, young people more malleable so they're looking at you thinking you're the coolest thing which i mean if i was little i'd be looking at you and i wasn't like hardcore into rap music like i used to be i'd be into you too so just be careful what they're what you're what you're teaching them you know old people they got their own opinions so that's on them they should know better or you know whatever just saying back in my day back in his day see I'm telling you time you're affecting you're affecting this guy over here He's not gonna make it. I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone, in the New York Times, on the radio, got a billion views, Millie on the gram, you still paying to be verified, man. I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. True. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just canceled the digital charts instead. Stop telling <laughs> me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? The angry that I of America guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian I live in the States I gave 200 grand to the veterans I am a patriot I am not faking this I don't need to keep on making it could have retired three years ago basically go check my bank account buddy I'm crazy rich I don't need money I rap because I'm made for this I am only doing this because I love it I told every record label they can shove it rappers hate on me but I'm above it 93 Shawn Michaels everyone can suck it they want photos when they see me out in public then they trash me in the comments what a bummer I sign autographs and spill my guts and stomach all I get is people praying that I'll plummet I came a long way Dreamt it all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a right. loser. Amen to that. God does save. That's great. That is great. Again, though, you drop that. Uh, I know it's a phrase. They can, uh, they can, they can suck it. Phrase. It's an adult thing. It's an adult thing. I'm just saying. You know, that's a. Uh, mm, mm, I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, Tom. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just putting it down, Tom. I'm just saying, you don't have to take it. Yes, what? I'm just, I'm just saying, Tom. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a, uh, I don't know what the the right word is, but there's like a a visual image to what rap music is and what's collected or what is uh, all connected to rap music. So like alcohol, right? Drugs, sex, violence, all of those things. I think. I mean, maybe, maybe that's that's why it's still in in your rap music or whatever. I mean, you're a Christian. You love America. Uh, you're for the people. You're for yourself. Nothing wrong with taking pride in what you do, as long as you're doing it for the right reasons, right? And then you know you can you can just fill in the fifth. Just throw whatever you want to there, as long as it's you know clean, 
sober, not affected by these lizard people. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It, it. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future. Be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. And all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin. They move me. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it. Recoup it and then execute it till you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break it and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn the abuse into your evolution. I've been addicted to plenty of pills. Poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. I done got so many wins that I forget the wins. So many plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so jealous, I'm just glad that I ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands. I got 10, 11, 15, 20 something names. But this ain't always what my life was like. Honestly, it still give me chills. Way before all of my viral songs. Before I was living in Beverly Hills. Way before I went and sobered up. Back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills. Way back when I should have been locked up. Overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital. Said her job's killing her and that was a fact. She working overtime often. Out of options. Having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking. Told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. And daddy always told me I was special and one day right. I would conquer. That's great. That's great. Keeping it in the family, that's great. Taking care of family, that's great. Um, that's honestly you can't ask for more than that, right? That's that's the goal. That's that's what we do. We take care of family. So I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear about your sister. That's life right now. Unfortunately, with the uh, what do you call them? Higher echelon, higher elites, <laughs> running things, killing everybody. I think you know might be their uh, purpose. Might be. Th What's that uh, other show we've got? Some sort of agenda thing? I don't know. Ask Crystal Rizzati. She'll tell you. Maybe look her up. She's on that uh, Revolver Broadcasting at Hotmail. I mean, uh, dot com, revolverbroadcasting.com. She's on there. Check it out. Get it. Then out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish talking. Told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. And daddy always told me I was special and one day I would conquer the music business. And I guess he was right, because look at my life. I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas. And mama worked harder than any woman on earth. Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. Awesome. This ain't white privilege. This ain't trust fund. This ain't good luck. This ain't silver spoon. This is hard work. This is long nights. This is all me. This is what I do. This is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of a city where I still don't get no respect. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars. All you bums are living check to check. Now everybody is an enemy. They all jealous that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them. Screw the government. Screw the record label. Screw the mainstream. Right. I'm there's that anger again, and I get it because I, I don't I, I don't get it, but I get the representation that you're showing here because you probably have gone through hell and back, Tom, and you know this is you just rebuttaling against it and, and showing your climb to where you're at and the hard work that you put in. So I can't say anything to it, honestly. I shouldn't even probably doing this review video and saying all the stuff that I am. All I'm saying is, as a, a brother in Christ, I want to see the best, right? I want to see you do the best, and I want to see you furthering the gospel of Christ and furthering the kingdom of Christ uh, on this planet. And and what you're doing here, I can see a lot of that. But I also see the other side, Tom. I don't know. Maybe we can get somewhere we can meet in the middle <laughs> where you you're, you're can present your anger, but in a different way and still hit the hit the notes that you're wanting to as far as emotions and uh, your message. Say it. Screw the record label, screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode, they in beast mode. We are not the same. We ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches for wow. you weak hoes. All right, hold on. Yeah. Oh, Tom. Um, what do I... I mean, obviously, you didn't make this probably for kids, but... I, I don't know. I guess it goes to that whole thing. Well, you know, I make, I'm making the content. Your the kid's parents should be the one uh, mediating this, right? And I, straight up, straight up. Do you have a filter though for probably not? I would assume because I know that I know you can on YouTube and other things. You can put it for like not only for mature audiences, not for kids or whatever. I'm curious if that's what you did or if you if you've thought about that. I'm not not judging either way. I'm just just curious because once again, that's. That's a little, in my opinion, that's inappropriate to say. But then again, you've been doing this, making this music, and it's been on a similar path for quite a while. And then you've gotten better as far as your, in my opinion, your content, and you drifted it a different way. But professing Christianity and praying to God and hoping God and all of these different things, that's that's awesome. I love that. But then mixing that with hoping you've got a deep throat, uh, I mean, it's, it's crossing the line for me. 
uh, I wouldn't, I, okay. So I've got a daughter, Tom, I'm going to put it this way. I love you. I love this. I love your music except for stuff like this. This, this makes me question. Well, and I have every right to do that because I'm a parent, whether or not I would let my daughter listen to you. And, I, and she, she loves music. I love music. We love the same similar kinds of music. So she would see this and be like, this is really cool. But there's those moments in your song like that right there. And I can't even let her listen to the song. And I would, I'd love to love for her to see your story and your message without that in it. So take that as it is. Let's see what else you got. This is for you weak hoes. Y'all cannot critique me. Y'all ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me. I can't be killed. Y'all just want to be me. Maybe be chill. Leave them bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek. You can beat me. Homie, keep still. I can tell that you don't eat meat. Ton of green beans. You a vegan when the beef's real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though. And their song's all on YouTube. Well, my song's on the radio. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names and play games and take aim and hate on me. Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. Right, what is it? I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'ma keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hang over gang. <laughs> See that that last part was good. I really enjoyed that last part. That was that was solid. It was like a little synchro thing going in there. That was cool. That was cool. Well, thank you for that, Tom. I really do appreciate that song. Maybe not in its entirety, as I've stated before, but honestly, there's a good message behind that. You do give hope to people. You do inspire people. I guess, all in all, if I was going to say a wrap-up of this, just make sure, in my opinion, again, that's all I could say is in my opinion, make sure it's pointing people to God and that you were able to come to what you did, come to where you're at now as far as prosperity, popularity, Whatever, if any of that even means anything to you, that you give the glory to God for that time. That's my review. Maybe we'll do another one. Maybe have somebody else sit in who, <laughs> maybe we can get out. Al Alan? Alan, where are you out there? They won't turn the cameras around, so. Alan's real big. I think he, he likes Tom McDonald right there. Yeah, so I'd love to hear what his opinion is on it because, um, you know, he's also a new, new, newer Christian as well. So yeah. So just remember guys, go to revolverbroadcasting.com. Check out everything that is there. Like, subscribe, all of those things to help us push, push our stuff forward so more people can see it. We're not in this for the money. We're not making money. We would love to be able to do it for a living. We don't, we don't need 20 mil, 30 mil, any of that, but we'd love to retire our moms. I'm just saying, Tom, <clears throat> Tom, just, I'm just saying, you want to come sit in on FFP sometime? Hit us up. You want to Come do a review of us doing a review of your video. I'm just saying, Tom. It'd be cool, right? It's been good. This has been a Revolver Reacts to Tom McDonald's God Mode. I guess until we see you again, if you guys like it, please leave comments if you want to see more of this content, more reviews. If not, let us know that as well. We may or may not listen to you. Just gonna put that in. All right. Till next time. I've been your host, Sterling Metcalf Allen. Bye, y'all.